Welcome to part two of uh, how we made a awning for our vintage 1973 Holiday Rambler. And um, if you'll notice in part one, anytime uh, I was showing any work that was being done, that was actually my wife that was doing that. That was her hands that were doing the sewing and the cutting and measuring and things like that. Um, I guess I did do the put the grommets in, on the edges there. But um, she was the mastermind behind this. I didn't really know a French scene from a bias tape, but uh, I learned a lot from her in this process. So um, we're going to get back into uh, part two here, and we're going to start showing how uh, she sewed the uh, fringe on one of the skirts, and then we'll finish it up. All right, so we've got the bias tape sewn on all edges, and now we are uh, sewing the fringe on top of this, of the bias tape. This is uh, one of the sides. So on the front long edge of the awning, um, we didn't sew on a skirt. Uh, we just folded it over and ironed it uh, and measured to make sure it was all consistent and then just ran a seam along here so that um, this will be the, the skirt part that hangs over. This is one of the side skirts. So we've done one of the seams um, on the underside here that we're doing the second part of the French seam now. Um, and um, measuring and ironing as we go just to make sure that it's the it's consistent the, uh, the size the depth of this thing is consistent all the way down and ironing it makes it easier to run straight through the machine so this is the kind of bias tape that we're using it's double fold bias tape and uh, right now what we're doing is sewing this bias tape to the top of the awning, the, the end, the side that will be attached to the camper. Um, that'll strengthen it and keep it from fraying. And um, then we're going to sew this rubber strip on to the top. And uh, we'll run two seams when we sew that on. So we've got the plastic bead sewed on the top end. Got everything done except we've got to put grommets in for the poles to stick through. And so we've sewn these uh, patches of thick material um, in five spots on the front of the awning because we've got five poles. And we bought some grommets that um, work like this. I'll put this together. This goes underneath or on the on the good side and then there's a plastic washer and then this um, back piece. Then you um, set that whole thing on top of this little anvil is what it's called and then you, you take this and sit on everything and tap it with a hammer and that just expands this out and um, presses it all together. All right, here's a look at the awning. It's all folded up here. And uh, just wanted to show it a little bit. Under, on each of these corners, uh, we sewed some reinforcement. This is like a thick felt here. Um, and then this is the, the bead that is, that is sewn on the top of this awning. And that's gonna go in the track up at the top of the, the camper. Um, we, we sewed it on with a regular older Singer sewing machine. Um, it, uh, I think we had a, I think she put a, 
maybe an upholstery needle in there. Um, looks like we went over it at least twice to get a good seam on there. It was kind of hard to do, so it's a little messy, but um, um, you don't really see that, you know, when the awning's up, it looks nice. So um, that's what that looks like. Also, um, this is the tent type awning, so it has um, tent poles and we put these grommets in here um, and you can get these at Hobby Lobby or uh, someplace like that they're pretty inexpensive so that's kind of what the awning looks like this is the these are the poles that we got um, I like these because they are in sections and they're easier to store so um, they're adjustable And then at the top, these, this is what goes through the little grommet. And then you just um, hook your rope on there and um, put your stake in the ground and tighten up your rope. And there's five of these. This awning is 22 feet long. And so there are five of them. And um, it was it took two people to make the awning because it took um, somebody feeding it through the sewing machine and another person kind of um, managing the 22 feet of fabric on either side. So um, here's the um, your camper should have this. I think all of them I've ever seen have had this at the top. This uh, track right here that the bead goes in. Um, now when we got this camper it still had the old bead was still in a lot of this track. I think the old awning it just kind of ripped off and this 73 holiday rambler um, I believe originally came with a rollout awning it was um, probably one of the earliest ones to that I've seen that had that fact that came from the factory like that so uh, but we like the older style so we made this one um, so make sure your track is good and clean um, I found that there was I think on the back there was a screw in the back toward the back that I had to take out you know different things happened to them over the years um, so just make sure the track is clean I had to uh, sort of straighten out some places where it was bent a little bit you just want to make sure it's opened up good enough for that uh, bead to slide in there good um, and then I think the first time I put it in there I took a little soapy water put some uh, soapy water along the bead and maybe squirted it in this just so that it would slide in good and um, so anyway that's kind of how we made that awning and how it goes in and um, I think that's it well we finally got the awning finished and we're camping and it just put it up for the first time and it's really long we got five poles but um, I think it worked out pretty well let's go look at some closer up shots we made the awning for our 73 Holiday Rambler. It's 29 foot and the awning is 22 feet long and uh, so it's pretty long but um, turned out pretty well. Um, some shots from the inside. You see where the poles go into the grommets. And um, really I'm glad we have five poles because it's, uh, it's really long and um, I think it's necessary to have five poles and the five ropes to hold it because it's getting a little bit windy out here and it's, uh, I think it's going to be best to hold it in place. We were kind of concerned about um, sewing through that plastic bead that goes in the track up at the top. Um, the Singer, you know, regular home Singer sewing machine that we have um, did it. She, she bought a heavy duty needle and um, it, was a, it was a little challenging getting it through there at times but uh, we ran two seams along it and um, it seemed to, seemed to work well. She also put um, a patch at each end to reinforce it. So that's how we made our awning. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, 
click on the wheel in the lower left hand corner and you can follow our progress as we continue to work on this 1973 Holiday Rambler.